deep sea, of course, is the biggest habitat on Earth. It's, there's more living space in the deep sea than anywhere else, but it's pretty rare for students to really have an opportunity to work in that largest habitat on Earth or look at the unusual organisms that are there just because of the expense of getting there. And so this course in deep sea biology is a little bit unique in that it gives students the opportunity to actually not only study about it, but actually to go there and to see the animals, touch the animals, do projects. Uh, the trip was to the Bahamas. Uh, I've been working in the deep sea in the Bahamas for more than 20 years now, uh, generally with support from the National Science Foundation. And in recent years, um, on two or three occasions, we've had enough room on the ship that we could take students along. There are 20 berths for scientists on the ship, and we limited the number of scientists that could come so that we could take, I think, about 14 students on this particular trip. And uh, they also have lectures. We have formal classroom periods that are taught on the ship. So they're either taught in the laboratory or, more interestingly, they're taught out on the bow of the ship, uh, usually at night. And so we'll be drifting around under the, under the tropical sky, and the captain will slow down and let the ship drift for a little while, and then we project PowerPoint against the white bulkhead on the front of the ship, and everyone sits in lawn chairs and takes notes. Many of the students that took the course this time actually work through an NSF-sponsored program called GK-12, in which they have the responsibility of teaching elementary school science in uh, several school districts down around Coos County. And because they were going to be gone and not teaching in the science classrooms, they made an arrangement with the schools to send back daily blogs that would tell the students, their elementary school students, what was going on on the ship. This course in deep sea biology is not something that we can offer on a very regular basis because it depends on having funding from uh, a national agency such as NSF. So in our experience, we teach this generally about every three or four years. Well, the students have a really unusual opportunity to actually dive in a submarine and in a four-person submersible to the ocean floor. And so they have the responsibility of documenting the dive and and uh, looking out the window and communicating with the scientists in the front about uh, the discoveries that are made and the collections that are made. And they find this experience to be really amazing. It's the kind of thing that you see on the Discovery Channel or National Geographic, but they get to do it actually as part of their university curriculum.